shocking absolutely nobody, Marvel Studios reportedly had a lot of issues with Letitia Wright's approach to how she handled herself once a bunch of uh, controversy regarding her and her involvement with Black Panther Wakanda Forever started to hit the mainstream news. So as most of you know, Letitia Wright is not officially a citizen, or wasn't at the time, she might be now, I'm not sure, of the United States. So when they were shooting Black Panther Wakanda Forever, there was a lot of stuff going on with specific laws and what you had to do to get into the country, show proof of various things that were going on at the time during the pandemic. You all know what I'm talking about. Either way, though, things quickly got out of hand when it came to Letitia suddenly going online, started to post various things related to the film, calling out people, talking about her status on everything that's going on. And according to a reporter from Deadline, things quickly got out of hand because Marvel Studios could not control the whole thing because they couldn't get to her to tell her, hey, maybe you should slow it down on this because this is a touchy subject because just recently we had to get rid of, well, you know, somebody from Star Wars, specifically Gina Carano, because she would not stop when they told her to because of the representation of the studio. So she was fired. They didn't want to do that with Letitia. So as Justin Noel continues to talk about the story, essentially after being talked to, she still continued, but she toned it down a bit. And Marvel Studios was worried because, again, she's going to be at the forefront of this film. And they're already delaying shooting of the film to accommodate for her. So what's going to happen next in terms of development if she says something or does something that jeopardizes everything? And essentially what made it worse is, as he reports, many in Hollywood also chose not to follow the specific guidelines. But again, they already live there and they're not coming into the country. She did not have that, you know, um, ability. Again, had to obey the law. So things were just looking very bad and Marvel Studios was hoping that this could just blow over. And then eventually it did, but essentially it painted everything in a uh, bad light, right? Because again, the studio has to, like anybody else, follow the law. But it sounds like everything worked out in the end and things are back on schedule and she's gonna be obviously at the forefront of all the uh, press junkets and everything. So hopefully things turn out good for everybody in the end and this doesn't happen again. And seeing how the world's just kind of moved on, I think we're pretty safe from uh, getting back to that.